Hello, a linked list is an implementation of a list. Earlier, we saw a list implementation using an array and we saw its limitations. We would like to rectify that using a linked list. So we are going to be, we are interested in creating a list of integers, let's say. Now, what are the functions we want in a list? The functions we are interested in are, if we want an add front function, a remove front function, a length function, and finally, a search function, right? So these are some of the functions we want in our linked list. Let's try to implement a linked list which has these functions, which provides these functions to a user of the list. Now, as we said, that this is a linked list of integers and our implementation is going to look like this. This is a pictorial view of a linked list. Let's, let me try to explain the meaning of this. Now, the elements or the integers, the numbers we want to store in the list are going to be here. A linked list consists of a list of nodes. So these are nodes and a node, a node contains two things. One is the element or the integer in our case, the number in our case. The second thing is a pointer to an, another node. This part is pointing to the next node, right? Similarly, the next node points to the third node. And the final node is going to have the, the null pointer there. So this is a linked list. And finally, we have a head pointer, which is pointing to the head of the list. Head or head is the front of the list. The head pointer points to the front of the list. Now we are going to look at how to add an element to the front of the linked list. Let me first draw a linked list and we'll try to explain from there. So let's say this is our current list and I want to insert a new element. Let me call it 100 into this list. Okay. And I want to add this new number 100 in the front of the list. So how should it appear? There should be a node with the value 100 and head should be pointing there. Okay. And the pointer in the node of 100 should be pointing to the node 30. Now, one clarification. So the in a node, the first, so the node contains two things. One is the, the first part is the element. We call it LM. And the second part is the, we call it the next. Next is a pointer to another node. I want to insert 100. And what I will do is that I will first create a new node. I create a new node like this. And I then add 100 to its element part. What is the next thing I should do? I should point its hundreds. Its next, this node's next should point to where head is pointing to now. And finally, what is it I should do? I should now make head to point to this new newly created node. Is that clear? Now you can see it's a list now and 100 is now at the front of the list. So the next thing we are interested in is remove the front node or remove front. Right. So let, let's have first, let's create a linked list and see. Good. So this is the linked list uh, representation. But one, can, one thing uh, we have to ask is how will this list be when there is no element in the list? Okay, so that's the initial case, initial setting of this linked list and how is how is it going to look like? In the initial setting, there is not going to be any node and in that case, where is head pointing to? Head is assigned the value null in this case, okay? When there is no element in the list, head is going to be null. We need to ask one question. Why did we move from an array implementation to a linked list implementation? Now, in an array implementation, we saw that if let's say the array had n elements and in that case when I wanted to insert an element to the front of the list I had to shift n elements to the right and then I inserted this new element 100 in, the, in our case to the front of the array that's how we did so that means if the if n was let's say 1 million it's going to take 
some time. Now we can contrast this with our linked list implementation. And what do you see here? When we inserted this new element 100, how many nodes did we see to insert this? Did we see all the n nodes to insert this new, this new element 100? No, we didn't. We just had to see one new node, one node, and that was the newly created node. We just created a new node, and that's it. The rest was all, and that point, that address was now assigned to the head pointer, and the address which was contained in the head was assigned to the next of this node. So the only node we accessed was this newly created node for in this linked list representation. So the time taken to add a node in a linked list is now independent of the number of elements, right? If, if, if it was 1 million or 1 or 0 elements in the list, it takes the same amount of time. We didn't look into a boundary case issue here. Of this is something so whenever you write a program you also have to you know, whenever you implement something you also have to see look at the boundary cases and in this case the boundary cases what happens when head is null that is there is no element in this list if there was no element in this list what is it we were supposed to do we just have to create a node and the next of that node should be set to null it's important that you know your implementations you also check that these boundary cases are working fine here is another question. Write a function to return the element in the front of the list. Okay, I'm going to call it front. The front function. If I have to write such a function, how is it going to be? You have head pointer, you use the head pointer, go to the first node in the list and return the element in it. Okay, so that's also going to take that's also going to look at exactly one node and therefore this of this function is also independent of the number of elements in the list so the next function we are interested in is the remove front what does this function do the remove front function is going to remove the node in the front of the list it's going to be deleted that front node is going to be deleted so let me first draw a linked list we have head pointing to the first node in the list and now if i want to remove this front node let's let me just give some values to these nodes so now if i want to remove this node with 50 what is it i need to do i have to remove so where is head pointing to head is head contains the address of the node 50 right i just remove replace it with the address of the node 20 that's all I need to do. So head is basically the starting of the list, right? So head is always pointing to the head of the list. When you implement this thing, you have to take care of one more thing. You have to ensure that the first node is deleted. It's, it's the memory which was allocated for that node is free. The next question to ask is how much time did it take to implement this remove front? Again, we can contrast this with the, our array implementation. In our array implementation, we saw that if the list had n elements, you had to shift the n minus 1 elements to the left because you want to remove the front, the element at the index 0 position. So you have to re remove all, you have to shift all the other elements to the left. And therefore, if the array had 1 million elements, it's going to take some time. Now, in our linked list representation, this is not going to happen. Now, again, just like our add friend, the remove friend function is also the time taken for the remove friend function is also independent of the number of elements of the list. It does not matter if the list had 1 million elements or 10 elements or 100 elements. It's going to take the same time because it's again, it has looked at only one node. It's going to traverse only one node and that is the front node. That's all it did. 